Girl Chicas. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a thrift with me vlog or just a little piece in my weekly vlog uh, because I am in the middle of editing a weekly vlog that I need to upload, but I can't remember how much footage I have for it. I think I have a lot. So I don't know if I'll be able to fit this clip in there. So we will see. But anyways, um, we are on our way to the thrift store that I went to. I don't know if it was yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, my new favorite little vintage thrift store. And I'm going it again because I sold some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And I want to go back with a refreshed set of eyes without... Hi. Hi. <laughs> without my husband there because my husband is not a patient shopper and I like to take my time and I'm a little like oh gosh I'm bringing both of the kids but I feel like we're gonna have fun right guys you guys are gonna be patient with me and let me shop and I'm gonna let you shop yes so the agreement is I have a snack I was smart this time I brought a big icy water for all of us to share and we have our monies and we have our reusable bags like we're on point today <laughs> and i said we'll bring a snack so that you guys can let mommy look at her stuff first you'll have your snack and then after i'm done oh there's a mosquito in here what we will do is go look at the toys and go look at the stuff that you guys want to look at but we're going to eat our snack first and let mommy look because we don't want to look at the toys and be touching everything and then eat a snack you know what I mean? So that is where we're headed. I will see what it looks like when I get there to see if I can film inside. But literally, oh, I'm already sweating like a sweat mustache. It, um, it's a very small thrift store and they didn't have music last time. So it was a little awkward. Maybe they didn't have music because they were about to close. They close at six. So we'll just have to see what it looks like and gauge if I can film anything. I'm thinking most likely not, but I'll try. But yes, no makeup on today, but I have my SPF on. I'm getting better at wearing SPF because your girl has wrinkles now and I don't want any more. So I've been really trying, you guys. You guys, I found the cutest stuff. I am a hot, sweaty, greasy, disgusting mess because that heat climbed up so fast when i left the house it was barely 85 it felt really good outside surprisingly 85 for me is very comfortable and i think in texas most would agree like 85 is doable it's comfortable we usually have a little breeze going here in this town so it's like chill but then it got up to 93 and it is hot and there's no breeze it is so hot but I spent $13 with tax included, a little more than I spent last time, but I couldn't help it because I found so many cute things that I just couldn't pass up. So basically everything I made for my Facebook Marketplace sale, I used for this. So basically I just traded clothes and I got a few things that I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of and also for my vacation. So let me show you my first most exciting find and it's gonna be this pair of Skechers flip-flops. How Y2K are these? They even have that little cutout there, which normally I'm not about, but first of all, these are so freaking comfortable because they're Skechers and they're really foamy and they just hold your feet so nicely. The person like didn't even wear these. Look at this. There's like nowhere. Maybe just a little bit right here, but honestly, these are pretty good condition. I don't know if these are like actually from the OOs. I'm not sure, but they do look like it. They have these tiny little um, studded, like flat studded detailing here, which is super cute, silver with the little Skechers S there. And they just look so pretty on my feet. These are actually a size eight. Normally I wear a size eight and a half, but I feel like my foot is shrinking because like lately I can fit into an eight. So it's very weird, but these were so perfect. And these were $5, $5. I mean, that's like a really great price. And I was like, I just have to get these because I have those cheetah print platform thong sandals that I love. They're definitely like Y2K, but they only match certain things because of the cheetah. And now these are regular black 
Oh, and they have a gold detail. And these are regular black with silver. So now I can definitely match every outfit I need to match with these two sandals. I'm so excited. These are beautiful. Then I went into the store. I instantly was like, zoom. Like I sensed it. Also found these really cute little <laughs> rainbow bright-esque uh, regular like pool flip-flops. But they do have a little platform, which is why I was like, heck yes i want them and also i actually don't have regular pool flip-flops so i definitely need some because i'm gonna be going sw swimming and i'm going on vacation soon the only thing is like somebody wrote three dollars right there and i asked the lady and she was like oh no we wouldn't do that it must have came to us like that that really sucks and i was like yeah it's really unfortunate i wanted to buy them she was like you know what i'll give them to you for a dollar and i was like okay because when you wear them you can't see it so uh, it, it is unfortunate that they did that, but when you wear them, you can't see it. So I was like, you know, screw it. Maybe I can, maybe I can somehow rub it off with alcohol or whatever. But the wear on the bottom is not that bad. I love these pastel colors. I'm going to say it again. You know I've been down with the pastel colors. So for a dollar, and it's got a little platform, definitely giving me Y2K vibes. Super, super cute. The thong uh, right here is clear blue, and you know how I feel about that. So look, it matches with this shirt. It's just gonna go with so many simple, cute outfits, and that's why I was like, for a dollar, yes, thank you, I will take it. Then I found the most amazing bathing suit top, and I actually saw it the first time I went there, but I was like, uh, I can't spend that much today. My husband's ready to go, and I need to try it on, so I'm just gonna leave it, and I found it again today. I tried it on. I have a little try on portion to clip in for you right here, but this is such a beautiful teal blue and yellow and like lime accented with like lime green tankini top. Oh my gosh, you guys. Not only is the print of this Y2K, like I don't know if it's actually vintage. I feel like it might be because I just feel like they don't come around like this and the way that it's made, the straight back, was you know very like late 90s and early 2000s but this is the tag maybe i can look it up online saint john's bay which i know comes from jc penny but the way that it's written looks kind of old to me but then again i could be wrong and this was a size 8 it fits me perfectly and it holds in my boobs so perfectly it is so hard for me to find bathing suits that truly make me feel good and cute and sexy and comfortable all at the same time it's truly hard and it has this like built-in little bra thing which i thought was going to be too small for me but like yeah this is size eight it fits perfectly it's not even like too tight at all it just holds me in so perfectly so I'm like I'm not flopping around everywhere but this print is absolutely amazing and I have some bottoms that can go with it so I'm not worried about that because this was the only part to it I didn't see any bottoms but honestly like I'm not down with buying bottom bathing suits or underwears from the thrift so I already have two bottoms I could wear with this oh I just like honestly you could wear this as a top too like this is just so insanely cute. I'm literally obsessed. She gave this to me for $3. And the last two items I found were just t-shirts because all of their t-shirts are a dollar. So I had to get me some t-shirts. I wanted to get another tank top, uh, just like a white one, but I ran out of money and I was like, what do you need the most? What do you want the most? So I found this. This for sure is vintage. Look at this. Um... What do you call this top stitch this contrast top stitch which did come back into style but look at the style of the shirt like the way it's cut this is definitely like late 90s early 2000s i'm not sure which era and i'm not the best at like knowing everything that's vintage but i feel like this one definitely is it says emmanuel ungaro so i'll have to look it up it's 100 percent cotton and i can always tell with the thickness of sh the shirts it's just like you know what time it came from that's not how they make shirts nowadays like it's just not um but i love this top stitch now i wasn't really like excited about this trend coming back because not all of the clothes with the top stitch look cute to me but i felt like this shirt did look very very cute and it's like a black shirt that has a little something extra 
that you can just wear with anything and it's really easy to pair with stuff this would pair nicely with those black flip-flops and actually there was a black skirt that I found which you guys will see in the try on and it looked so cute this whole outfit put together but I just didn't have enough money to get the skirt today so if it is meant to be for me to have it the next time I go it'll be there so that was a dollar and then the last thing I picked up was a Harley Davidson shirt Ooh, girl I hit the jackpot especially because it's flames the eagle is made out of flames I am obsessed and it is from Austin, Texas. And we are on the outskirts of Austin. So people who don't know what Leander is, they just, when, you know, when people ask where they're from, they just say Austin. So we live in the Austin region. So this was from around here, Austin, Texas. I love the Longhorn and the Texas flag. Like, I love it. Sixth Street, like, oh my gosh, it is so awesome it's everything i want in a harley davidson shirt it's definitely worn i don't know when this is from my kids are like arguing downstairs i don't know when this is from it's a size medium and it was in the women's but i feel like this is just a men's medium but the black is very worn i really like it it's super comfy and thick so this is the third Harley Davidson shirt I found, but the difference is this was a dollar. Like if I found this anywhere else, it would be like $6. I'm so obsessed. So that was the greatest haul ever, but I always say that. But honestly, I went in there wanting to find platform sandals, Y2K, like because I've been looking at them on Depop and Poshmark and just been envying them. But of course the prices are jacked up. So the fact that I, found them oh i must have manifested it so yeah it was amazing and here's just a couple things that i didn't end up picking up but i thought were super cute these pants oh my gosh i feel like i definitely had pants like this in middle school and this little outfit here is super like oo's teacher vibe like if i was a teacher but it's just not complementing my curves well enough so i did not pick it up but the skirt is from gap and then i found these nike pants in the men's section but they were a size large and they were so super huge on me And I totally forgot to make an outro, so please enjoy these adorable angels in the clouds. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.